Hi friends, welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to discuss remaining topics of electrical specialization. Coming to the topic protection of SERs. Coming to the topic protection of SERs. Protection from over voltage, protection from over voltage, that is over voltage protection. Varistors are used. Varistors are used to protect the device from over voltage. From over voltage. Varistors are nothing but variable resistors. Variable resistors. That means we can vary the resistance. Variable resistors are used for protecting from over voltages. Over current protection. Over current to limit the current or from over over current fuses and circuit breakers are used. Fuses and circuit breakers are used to protect the device from over current. To protect the device from over current. Very very important bits these are okay. And thermal protection. Thermal thermal means heat. Thermal protection for these uh, heat sinks are used. Heat sinks are used okay dv by dt protection for dv by dt protection capacitors are used capacitor to protect from dv by dt uh, dv by dt protection that means at very small time the voltage will becomes uh, very high so that's why these are uh, not uh, the but uh, the properties of the capacitor the capacitor does not allow the change in voltage but uh, here the change in voltage at a very small time is very high so to protect that capacitors are used and the capacitors uh, circuit the circuit with the capacitors to protecting the SCR from dv by dt protection the circuit is called snubber circuit snubber circuit very very important snubber circuit used used to used for used as dv by dt protection used for dv by dt protection and for di by dt that means the change in current we know that inductors are the properties of inductors it does not allow the change in current so that's why series inductors are used for di by dt protection di by dt protection once again for over voltage protection varistors are used that is nothing but variable resistors are used for over current protection fuses and circuit breakers are used and for thermal thermal means heat heat sinks are used for this protection dv by dt snubber circuit di by dt protection series inductors next to series operation of scrs series operation of scrs scrs are connected in series to increase the voltage rating to increase the voltage rating so to increase the voltage rating the scrs are connected in series to increase the current rating the SCRs are connected in parallel. SCRs are connected in parallel to increase the current rating. And one more important topic is other thyristor family devices. Other thyristor family devices. Okay. Uh, in this uh, first one, put put that is nothing but programmable unijunction transistor. Programmable unijunction transistor. In this, the difference of uh, SCR from uh, the SCR and put is. Uh, here the gate is connected to n type the gate is connected to n type actually scr uh, the in the scr the gate is connected to p type material p type structure uh, but here for in case of put gate is connected to n type material gate is connected to near near to n type material and the way characteristics are as follows okay here the gate is connected to n type material that is nearer to anode that is nearer to anode and ratings of uh, this put are 200 volts and 1 amps for rating 200 volts 1 amps these uh, put devices are used to control the power and next device belongs to thyristor family sus sus that is silicon unilateral switch silicon unilateral switch the difference uh, uh, the difference of sus from put is the difference of uh, sus from put is all, all the structure is same 
it here also gate is connected to n type material but extra inbuilt low voltage avalanche diode this is avalanche diode extra avalanche diode is connected between cathode and gate between cathode and gate an extra avalanche diode is connected then it is uh, called as a silicon unilateral switch silicon unilateral switch the difference between sus and put is avalanche diode here avalanche diode in uh, in uh, sus also gate is connected to n type material here the va characteristics the ratings of this sus are 20 volts and 0 0.5 amps 20 volts and 0 0.5 amps next device belongs to thyristor family scs silicon controlled switch silicon controlled switch for this silicon controlled switch it is a four terminal device anode cathode and gate cathode gate anode gate four electrodes it has a four electrodes one electro one gate signal from uh, p type one gate signal from n type that is nearer to anode one and nearer to cathode one gate signal here is it is the va characteristics and ratings are 100 volts and 200 amps ratings of scrs 100 uh, scs 100 volts and 200 milliamps okay it means four electrode thyristor is nothing but scr next light activated thyristor light activated thyristor that means uh, uh, you that means uh, the scr will be the st scr or nothing but thyristor will be turned on by throwing a by throwing a light by throwing a light on the silicon wafer of the thyristor on the silicon wafer of the thyristor by throwing a light then it will be conducted that means scr will be turned off a light activated scr turn on by throwing a pulse of light on the scr wa a silicon wafer of thyristor and the silicon wafer of thyristors these light activate thyristors are used for high voltage and high current application this light activated uh, thyristors are scrs used for high voltage high current applications up to 6 kilo volts and 3.5 kilo amps 6 kilo volts and 3.5 kilo amps next device diac diac for this diac diodes are connected in both directions diodes are connected in this way that means a bidirectional thyristor diode bidirectional thyristor diode the vi characteristics are here the follows and coming to triac triac is a bidirectional thyristor with three terminals bidirectional thyristors with uh, with three terminals there is one terminal one terminal two and this is the terminal three gate okay coming to this uh, way characteristics it is as follows we can apply gate signal for in forward conduction state and also reverse conduction state that so that's why it is a bi-directional thyristor it can uh, gives the voltage in uh, forward direction and also reverse direction and these tracks are used extensively for the control of power extensively used for the control of power in ac circuits and gto gate turn off thyristor this is the schematic symbol of gto uh, gto gate turn off thyristor for this gate turn off means uh, by using a negative gate current by a negative gate current is required to turn off a thyristor a negative gate current is required to turn off a gto and it is used in inverters and choppers it is used in inverters and choppers it is used in inverters and choppers okay next topic next topic phase controlled rectifiers very very important phase controlled rectifiers we know that rectifiers rectifier means which converts ac to dc which converts ac to dc phase controlled rectifier means whenever the power control devices used as rectifiers then they are called phase controlled rectifiers here 
the control uh, we can control the rectification we can control the rectification that means the thyristors rectifiers are known as phase controlled rectifiers because the thyristors are called phase control devices the phase phase control devices uh, phase control rectifiers because of variation in load power at constant input voltage is obtained by changing the firing angle that means uh, we, by changing this firing angle we can control the rectification okay that means uh, uh, the instant at which uh, the voltage or power converts from ac to dc okay exam um, uh, next one single phase half wave rectifier with r load single phase half wave rectifier with resistive load this is the scr it is a ac supply and here is the dc supply the waveforms belongs to half wave rectifier we have we have given ac supply as input and here it is a gate signal whenever the gate when when at the instant at which when we give the gate signal it starts the conduction and it is the output is from here here without gate pulse there is no output and here the gate signal and the output is comes here from this point to this point it is only half wave that means it converts only positive half cycle only it is uh, for negative half cycle it is a the output is zero the output is zero output is zero and the output v naught equal to vm by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha vm by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha formulas are also important they are giving as a direct bits okay case of rms output rms voltage vm by 2 root pi pi minus alpha it is a pi 2 pi 3 pi alpha is nothing but the angle firing angle this is the alpha pi minus alpha plus sin 2 alpha whole power 1 by 2 in case of rl load rl load the output voltage be, uh, does not becomes to negative becomes to negative that means it is a discontinuous state this uh, this negative can be eliminated by using free wheeling diode by using free wheeling diode that means the free wheeling diode neutralizes the induction effect it is due to induction it will be neutralized by using the free wheeling diode for rl load the output voltage v naught equal to vm by 2 pi cos alpha minus cos beta this is beta and this is alpha cos alpha minus cos beta in case of rms voltage vm by root 2 root pi beta minus alpha plus 1 by 2 into sin 2 alpha minus sin 2 beta whole power 1 by 2 and rl load with the free wheeling diode with the free wheeling diode output is same as r load same as r load the, this part is neutralizes with free wheeling diode the advantages of this free wheeling diode the output current is continuous the output is uh, current is continuous and the power uh, cont uh, continuous means and uh, power factor also improves power factor also improves and the output voltage uh, voltage equations for uh, with rl load with the free wheeling diode same as that of the uh, same as that of half wave rectifier with r load it is v naught equal to vm by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha vm by 2 root pi into pi minus alpha plus 1 by 2 sin 2 alpha whole power 1 by 2 okay next single phase full wave rectifier with midpoint counter converter type single phase full wave rectifier midpoint converter type here it is the ac supply supply it is a midpoint midpoint converter type the load is connected in between the secondary midpoint it is a transformer here two thyristors t1 t2 two, two thyristors are used okay in single phase full wave rectifier midpoint converter type number of thyristors used are two thyristors full wave means both positive and negative we can get the output if we give the gate signal here it will start the conduction it will start the conduction and the output current is follows okay for this v naught equal to 2 vm by pi cos alpha for r, r load 
and for only r load that load is only resist to that is vm by pi into 1 plus cos alpha 1 plus cos alpha next single phase full wave bridge type converter bridge type rectifier rectifier or converter okay bridge type rectifier for this full wave bridge type the number of thyristors are used are four number of thyristors used are for t1 t2 t3 t4 okay there are four thyristors uh, forms bridge <coughs> to convert single phase full wave to single phase uh, ac voltage to dc voltage for r load the output voltage wave, uh, equation v naught equal to vm by pi 1 plus cos alpha and for rle load 2 vm by pi cos alpha next one single phase semi converter single phase semi semi converter or single phase off controlled off controlled rectifier for this <coughs> two thyristors with two diodes are used two thyristors t1 t2 d1 d2 two two thyristors and with uh, two diodes okay for this v naught equal to vm by pi 1 plus cos alpha in case of half wave single phase half wave converter number of thyristors used are one and single phase full wave rectifier with midpoint converter type two thyristors are used single phase full wave bridge type single phase full wave bridge type four thyristors single phase semi converter or single phase half control rectifiers two thyristors plus two diodes okay Next to three phase converters. For three phase half wave rectifier, number of thyristors are used are three. Three thyristors for each wave, each phase. For each phase, one thyristor. By using this uh, thyristors, we can convert three phase AC to DC. The output voltage is three root six by two pi V phase cos alpha. In case of, uh, in the place of uh, thyristors, we, if you use diodes, there is no controlling, that is, there is no firing angle. That means, uh, uh, V naught equal to 3 root 6 by 2 pi V phase, if diodes are replaced instead of thyristor. Instead of, thyristor, if diodes are used, there is no control, so there is no alpha, that is, no firing angle. 3 phase controlled full wave rectifier, 3 phase controlled full wave rectifier, for this, number of thyristors are used are 6. Three, number of thyristors are 6 for 3 phase control full wave rectifiers uh, in this by using this circuit we can convert 3 phase AC to DC 3 phase AC to DC and the output voltage V naught equal to 3 root 6 by pi V phase cos alpha here also die if we replace the diodes output voltage V naught equal to 3 root 6 by pi V phase only there is no cos alpha ok ok friends thank you all the best I will explain remaining topics in next video, okay? Thank you.